Okay, so we've got another trophy list video for you today. And before we get into this amazing list, I just want to quickly say that the list has got ridiculously large at this point. I'm still welcoming everybody to submit their accounts and I am going to do every single submission. But please hold fire and have patience if your account has not been reviewed as of yet. I am getting to them. I'm just keeping it fair by having that list there so that nobody jumps the gun, nobody gets left behind. It's just in order of the request uh, of the submission. So just hold fire. Your account will be coming soon. It's just, I'm just getting to it. But let's get straight into this one because I can't wait. Blinkoom, he's a YouTuber himself. He streams on Twitch. Just recently, he's been doing a, quite a lot of retro. And, and when I say retro, I mean retro. So if that's your kind of stuff, go and check him out. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe he does do some more like modern day stuff as well. But just go and check him out. He's, his content is quality. His streams are absolutely chill. I've been watching every stream for the past few weeks uh, late at night because, as you can see by his, uh, his little icon, he's American. I am from the UK, so time zones and whatnot. But I've skimmed through this list a little bit straight from the get-go, and I can honestly say that I'm excited because some of these games are fantastic. Some of them I've never heard of, um, but... There's a very, very wide variety. So it's already in alphabetical order. It's already on Platinums only. And straight from the get-go, we've got 13 Sentinels, Aegis Rim. I honestly don't know what this game is. I've seen it mentioned hundreds of times. It's got a 51.69% completion. So I'm guessing that it's either very niche. So the people who are going to play this game are going to want to finish it. Or it's an easy one. Uh, unfortunately, there isn't a guide on PSP NP according to this little add-on I've got. But fair play on that one. Next one, we've got A Rose in Twilight. Unfortunately, it's missing the timestamps, so I don't know how long this took. Uh, this is a Vita game, but just under 20%. Next one is A Short Hike. A short game, but a game that is very well respected. I, I know this one. Um, and it's, a, it's a, a nice, cute little uh, little pastime, to, shall we say. The next one is Accounting Plus. has nothing to do with accounting. A VR game. Uh, I've not played it myself. Um, I couldn't tell you what it actually is about. But I know that it's not about accounting. So uh, Next one up is Adam's Venture Origins. This is another one that I've never heard of. I have no idea what this game consists of. Um, to be honest, as soon as I've finished this review, I'm probably going to check out a lot of these games uh, because I know that Blinkoom, the, the kind of stuff he plays, uh, some of it, or at least a lot of it, is my kind of thing. Um, next one is, I, I, I don't know how you would pronounce that, uh, Air, Memories of Old. Took two years, nine months. I'm going to take a guess that that was one that maybe had a dabble on originally and then came back to get the platinum on it a couple of years later. 74.33%, um, so quite high. Then we've got Alan Wake. Nice. Uh, quite surprised that that's in one way as high as it is, 11.95, but also as low as it is. Uh, it's one that I've got in my collection. I've completed it twice, I believe now. Once originally, once with a remake. Um, but I've never attempted the Platinum. But I will do at some point. And then we've got Alan Wake 2. I I'm just waiting for the physical release on this one, to be honest. Uh, I kind of put my foot down when they announced it was digital only. And I was like, nah, mate. You're going to bring it out physically at some point. So I will wait. Uh, then we've got Animal Well. Obviously, this one came out... Uh, in May, it looks like you uh, you did this one pretty soon after it was released. A short game, well, shortish. The guide says 15 hours. I thought it was less than that, to be honest. But nice one on that. Then we've got another Crab's Treasure. This is the first time I've seen this on a list so far. And fair play on this one, because from what I've heard, 
I don't know for certain, but from what I've heard, it is basically a Souls-like game under the sea playing as Sebastian the Crab. I don't know if his name's Sebastian, but I'm just going to take a wild stab in the dark at it. But fair play on that one. It's lovely to see. Then we've got Ape Escape. Obviously a classic. I haven't got it myself. I've never played it myself, but I have seen it on a fair few lists. And I'm forever seeing it whenever I'm looking for something else to play. It keeps popping up. It's like talking to me. Um, a Ranger. A Roll Puzzling Adventure. Never heard of that one. 25.38%. So not the most common of platinums uh, but that one took you two days 19 hours so nice now this is a is one i've not seen before either astrobot a rescue mission nice um i mean as it says it's vr game so fair play uh i do like vr i haven't played it for a long time uh, i wish i still had it for, because of a game that's a little bit further down uh, we'll talk about that shortly. Astro's Playroom. Of course, everybody should have it. Um, I'm confused. Why is the DLC on 0%? Uh, do we have to wait for the new Astro's game to come out before they can actually be achieved? But nice, fair play. Bastion. I, I see, like, if I ever I'm searching, like, Reddit or just the web in general and i'm looking for like you know recommendations game niche games that not everybody knows or not everybody's played bastion is one that i always see get recommended i've not played it myself but i know that it's a well i've heard it's a fantastic game and it's quite a low percentage 12.37 so very nice and then we've got beat saber this is the game I don't like 4.3% so it's a very low percentage uh, for the platinum so well done and fair play on that one it says it's an 8 out of 10 difficulty so I, I don't know if it really is that difficult uh, but what I do know is that I love Beat Saber I played it so much when I used to have my uh, headset set up and everything and I, I wish I, I wish I still had it I can't remember what happened to it. I think I might, I think I might have given the uh, the move controls away to a family member, and I've still got the headset that's still at uh, my mother's house, uh, and that was years ago when I moved out. So, who knows? But yeah, Beat Saber, nice. And then Blaz Blue Calamity Trigger, first person, first list that I've seen with this one. I don't actually know what this game is, but I'm going to take a guess that. If it's anything like the one Blast Blue game I do know, which was Cross Tag Battle, it's a fighter, as a, at a guess. 5.28%, very nice. Then we've got Bloodborne. I mean, what, what else is there to say about Bloodborne? It's just an amazing game. And if slash when I, well, if, when I get to 100 Platinums, or 99 Platinums, shall I say, this is one that I think I would like to have as my 100th, kind of like a, okay, I can do a disgustingly hard game. I suck at Souls-like games, so it is going to be ridiculously tough for me, but fair play, you got this one. Obviously, went back to it years later, but still, you went back and got it. Bonfire, I have absolutely no idea. It says one hour, two, two out of ten difficulty. It's on VR. So, uh, yeah, I can see that just being like a cheap and chill VR game. Um, just in case my voice is coming across really poorly on the mic, I am still ill from like a couple of weeks ago, a few videos ago. Um, <clears throat> let's just clear that a little bit. Uh, bug Snacks. Nice. I tried this well I've, I've got the platinum now but i tried it when it first was released and then i decided to go back to it uh, at the start of 2024 as it happens uh, from the looks of it quite similar to yourself um but yeah i, I didn't didn't really think much of it i thought it was a, a kind of cool little gimmick but I, I just wasn't that into it and then when i started platinum hunting i thought why not go back to it uh, castle on the coast no idea 
sorry. Um, and this will be the case for a lot of these games. I just like it's amazing how many games there are. I um, when I started collecting PS4 games, I was buying games left, right, and centre ones that I'd never seen before, and I'm still finding hundreds and hundreds of games that I've never even heard of, seen anything. Uh, and unfortunately, this one and the next one are two two examples of that. Uh, then we've got Chicory, A Colourful Tale. I, I've never played it myself, but I've heard that it's a, a nice, beautiful little uh, little experience. Uh, Cloven Wrench. Again, I, I don't really know what this one is. Um, I've seen it. I'm pretty sure that I I look I added this to my uh, Amazon basket at one point. Pretty sure I did. I could be completely chatting out my ass, but uh, I'm pretty sure I did. And if I'm correct, I think it's like a, a platformer. I could be wrong though. Uh, Clockwork Aquario. Again, I just I just don't know. Uh, but to be fair, this is what excites me. I, like these games that I don't know, I can't. I know I can't really add much to what I'm saying. I can't really add much to the video. But I just I love seeing games I, I just don't know about. Uh, Concrete Genie, yep, yeah, beautiful game. Uh, not one that I've experienced myself yet. I feel like if I was to play it, I'd probably get bored of it quickly, just because I have such a low attention span. Um, but fair play on that one. Control, nice. What one of my favourite platinums. I thought the game was fantastic. Um, Cosmic Star Heroin. You you did this one on Vita, so nice. So there's no timestamps. Uh, but I've I've looked into this one a hell of a lot. I uh, included this in I believe it was my hidden gems video that I did. Um, it's a game that I do wanna. Do really want to try at some point. Then we've got Cotton Reboot. Not gonna lie, I uh, brought and platinumed Cotton Fantasy. I think it was a couple of weeks ago, and I didn't realise that there are so many variations of the Cotton game. Wasn't one of my favourites. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I've looked into the reboot and the the other spin-offs or the other versions. I don't think I'm going to be getting any of them, but who knows if they go uh, low enough in price. I have added them all to uh, various wish lists. Then we got Crash Bandicoot and Crash Bandicoot Warped. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but is that one and three? I can't. I can't remember what the names of two and three are, but obviously that one's the first one. So well done, fair play on that one. 8.9%, uh, so al almost 1 in 10, uh, which is amazing for everybody. 7 out of 10, I can't do it. Plain and simply, can't do it. Um, the, the ice level, it's the ice level. I just can't even finish that level. Uh, but who knows, one day maybe I'll uh, tackle it for the 75,000th time. Uh, Dark Cloud, another one that I've not seen on many people's lists. Uh, obviously this is quite a dated game now um, and I know there's a, a couple of others Dark Cloud uh, and then there's something to do with Mist I believe and I, I think there's, another, there's a second one with Cloud in the name as well I know what I'm talking about I'm probably chatting Puck to the camera but I know what I mean but I, I'm, not, I'm pretty sure that that's part of either a, a a double or a trilogy um, but nice on that one Deathloop now I've seen this on almost every list that I've done not every list but I've seen it on a lot of lists and I'm surprised at how low that percentage is 13.73% purely on the fact that when this went on to PS Plus or when it was going off ps plus one or the other i know that almost every man and the dog was like oh i'm going for that platinum and i reinstalled it and i just felt the same as i did when i first brought it and played it i just couldn't get into it 
the, the controls felt weird to me and maybe that's on me but fair play to for uh, getting the platinum then we've got deliver us mars and deliver us the moon both beautiful games deliver us the moon is the the far superior in my opinion uh, i've completed it i've enjoyed it i just have never gone back for the platinum and i've never even touched deliver us the mars but i know they're both brilliant games quite high percentages because they are relatively easy but that still doesn't change the fact that they are fantastic uh demon turf i have no idea what this is i like the uh, art style on the little uh, picture there 11.52 percent always nice to see uh so many trophies I, I know it's not like the most but 40 trophies on a game nice if i see you know 10 trophies on a game it usually means to me that not much thought has been put into the, to it or it's just like shovelware but if there's 40 usually means that there's a, a bit more to the game but demon turf definitely one that i want to check out because i, I just i like the art style uh demon souls next very nice uh that's a, yeah that's the uh the remake or remaster whatever you want to call it the ps5 version 21.53 percent on that so over one in five which is sickening for me to uh to realize because i just suck at souls i really do next up deponia don't think i've seen anyone with this one yet uh i'm pretty sure that i, I own this on steam of all things but i've never never played it uh, but fair play uh no idea how you would pronounce this because obviously with them a little uh apostrophes over the e's i'm guessing it's french uh vita no vr 60.25 percent whatever it is nice fair play on it donut county one of my more recent platinums i mean the game wasn't anything special i had fun with it uh but did kind of feel a little bit cheap to me um but still a fair few people have got this one it's not considered trouble where you know you do have to think of a couple of things so fair play nice and then dragon quest 11 echoes of an elusive age oh, I, I loved this game i really really loved this game and i so wish that i could experience this game for the first time again now that i'm a platinum hunter because i'm pretty sure i've deleted the save file from it I'm, I'm not doing i'm not doing 90 hours just for a few trophies but fair play nice again 21.44 percent which means over one in five people madness uh, then we've got dreams oh my god i've heard of this game i have no idea what you do in this game but 1.7 percent fair play on that one nice i think that's the lowest one i've seen so far percentage wise uh, so very nice then we got dredge beautiful Elden ring absolutely amazing loved the game um didn't go for the platinum because when i played it it was before i became a platinum hunter uh but fantastic game like i don't like souls i suck at them um but Elden ring absolutely phenomenal absolutely brilliant uh next one is escape academy not a clue so sorry i can't really say anything on that one uh, same with uh, Aoife Born, only 13 trophies though, so I'm not going to say shovelware, but probably a straightforward one. Uh, same with, I'm guessing this is pronounced Fee, uh, a, another one, 12 trophies, 10 of them being gold, 2 silvers and then the plat. Uh, Frogan, not a clue. Uh I kind of feel bad for for like anyone that's watching and knows what all these games are, and and also for Blinkoom, who's obviously put time into com 
completing and platinum or all these games and now i'm just chatting crap about them or overlooking them because i just don't know them some of these could be absolutely like ridiculously hard and, and i'm not giving them the time of day so i apologize in advance for that but i just don't know them uh ghost blade hd another one ghost giant another one starting to think that maybe i should have done a bit of research into some of these games before i did the trophy list but if i did i mean as you can see already i'm only on the g's and i would have i'd have had to spend about a full day or two just to uh just to familiarize myself then we've got ghost runner one that i keep thinking should i go for it uh, only 10.08%. I'm quite shocked that that's as low as it is, but that's a nice one to have. Uh, Grey Lancer, twice, two days apart, five hours, three minutes. This one, 41 minutes, 59 seconds. I was going to say, is that an auto pop? But I can see it only takes an hour. So, don't know why the first one took you five hours, three minutes, but nice. That's, that's very nice. I mean, I think that's the first double up that I've seen. So I'm guessing you probably must have like really enjoyed that game to go for it twice rather than, you know, oh, okay, it's an easy platinum. Uh, God of War, nice, you know, and, and Ragnarok, fair play. I've said it in the previous video, loved God of War, absolutely thought it was phenomenal. With Ragnarok, I got about four hours in and I was just like, I can't do it. It, it was too much it felt too samey to me and as i've said i've got a low attention span there's, there's a reason why i've only done the first two spyros and i haven't done the third one yet there's a reason why i've only played the first spider-man if if i play games and i play the sequel and it's exactly the same i just i lose interest and i'm probably missing out on a lot of absolutely phenomenal games because of that uh gravity rush beautiful only seen i think two people with this so far um i know that i wouldn't be able to do it it would make me feel ridiculously sick uh, 11 hours and 11 hours 11 years and four months so it's one you've gone back for so fair play on that one guacamole i've, I've heard of it but i don't know what it consists of uh, hellblade sanua sacrifice I, I think this game is brilliant it's obviously you know touches on some subjects that you know if uh, you get affected by mental health a bit easily probably not the greatest of games to play but this game is phenomenal i i, I really enjoyed it uh then we got hindsight no idea what that consists of um sorry hoa again another one i just i don't have a clue then we got the horizon game that was on the vr i remember when this came out uh it looked phenomenal i wished i i, I could have experienced it myself 9.07 percent on that one so very nice then we got humanity is this this is the game where you uh, you either control a dog or like the you know something to do with a dog i'm not even sure but I know I've seen that game bouncing around from time to time. Uh, Intelligence Cube, nice. Even though it's considered like ridiculously easy. Sorry, um, I I wouldn't. I haven't got the brain power to to attempt it. Not at all. Not even close. Uh, IA VT Colorful, not a Scooby Doo. Seventeen point six nine percent on that one considered a 5 out of 10 difficulty you did that one on the vita and it took you six years and 11 months so i respect it uh i see not a clue ico not a clue but shout out to ico 6.02 percent six out of ten so nice considered uh difficult and you've still smashed it out the park fair play uh it takes two very nice Jack and Daxter the Precursor Legacy. Nice. Just the just the original though from what I can see so far. Uh, Jet the Far Shore. No idea. Another lo quite low percentage though. 10.88%. Uh, 
so fair play on that one job simulator on the vr as well 36.03 on that one i have heard that that's a fairly simple platinum but you know no qualms from me uh jumping flash i mean some of these games like the artwork looks funky as hell this this isn't one of them like i, I don't even know what that artwork is meant to be showing me um but i'll check it out later i guess uh k's and the wild masks not a clue but that one took you a couple of days uh, almost three days 34.26 percent nice okay here we go at least at least there's some that i uh i know what they are uh kenna bridger spirits or kena wherever you want to pronounce it two years four months so i'm guessing you went back to get the platinum on that after originally playing it 18.1 percent nice as i said i'm still struggling with illness so i need to take a drink before i cough my guts up there we go uh Klonoa fantasy reverie series butchered the pronunciation of that uh, i believe that's a platformer if i am correct very nice the next one i am sickened uh Le <laughs> lady in a leotard with a gun i've seen this not the gameplay but i've seen it on playstation and it looked at playstation store and it looked horrendous and i need to know blinkoom is this horrendous as it looks sounds and i think it was like 60 pence or something like that when i saw it on store is it that bad uh life is strange nice i am i know i've said it in previous uh trophy list reviews like about it like not being my kind of game i've heard it's a girls game and all that i'm, I'm going to add these to my collection at some point I, I am going to attempt them as well uh because i've been reassured by numerous of you that they are decent games and they are not just for girls uh lumo nice oh, my god not not just nice look at that 0 0.86 percent now that that's gotta be the most uh most rare platinum it's got to be i don't think i've ever seen a platinum that low before i have no idea what lumo plays like i've i've seen the artwork i know what the game is in terms of cover art i've seen it on stores but that is one hell of a low percentage so i'm definitely going to check that one out in a bit uh, then we got magus nice male mole not a clue marquette I, I i thought it was a terrible game terrible puzzle game like other people will disagree some people will agree um but was wasn't for me uh, marvel spider-man very nice marvel spider-man miles morales i'm not going to say the same thing as i've said in the last two videos about those uh mega mind ultimate showdown is that mega mind is in the disney pixar films i believe it's them who make them um but that's the first time i've seen that one uh, it looks like a fairly straightforward platinum though uh melatonin nice I, I i have heard of it i don't know what the game consists of though uh mirror's edge catalyst very nice this is the one that not too long ago i believe the server shut down i'm guessing if if i am correcting that then you did this just before the server shut down but 8.31 percent five out of ten difficulty so very nice moss 7.90 percent on this one so again very nice uh then we got need for speed most wanted uh that one was on the vita 5.44 percent holy shit some some of these are, are absolutely fantastic uh new super lucky's tale i actually picked this up the other day uh i know exactly what this is uh, and i'm excited to play it. you know fun little uh just chill out and 
and earn the platinum, I'm guessing. But, you know, that'll be uh, over 50% in no time. Uh, Near Automata, I've said it hundreds of times, fantastic game. Loved it, every second of it. It's so beautiful. Uh, Ocean Horn, Most of Uncharted Seas, never heard of it, no idea. Uh, so, apologies on that one. Operation Tango next, nice. Surprised that it's let, let's just say one in every four has got that one. I own it, but I've never actually played it. Uh, I've seen gameplay of it, but never, never given it a chance to be honest. Uh, Outer Wilds, very nice. I downloaded this about I think it was about four months ago, and uh, I never actually I never played it. I downloaded it, I needed space on my PlayStation 5 for whatever game I was playing at the time. I'm going to take a wild guess and say Call of Duty because it's the only thing I can think of that takes up ridiculous amounts of space and I was like, oh, let's just get rid of this. Even though Operation Tango probably only had about 4 gigabytes or something stupid like that. Uh, Outer Wilds. Come on, keep up Alex. Stay with the program. Uh, then we got Overcooked 2. Nice, 12.64%. I'm surprised that there's so much DLC on that game, but fair play. It does look horrendous though, like 45% missing just because of DLC. Then we got Pack Pack World Repack. Nice, I actually looked at this a few days ago. Uh, what is it saying? Show. F it, it, I, don't, I don't know if it showed it on the on the. Um, over there then but it said like show 303 more games i was like mate there's only like 170 platinum so what are you doing but yeah i looked at pat man uh, a few days ago uh, i didn't realize that it was such a a low ish percentage and considered such a high uh difficulty next up is patrick's paradox not a clue not a scooby uh but that one took you two weeks and a day roughly penny's big breakaway i've seen this numerous times on the store but it just looks look like i've seen it i almost brought it but then i looked into it a little bit more it, it just looked the gameplay didn't look awful but the style of it looked awful to me um so i was like shied away from it to be honest um the next one persona 4 dancing all night i mean you did this one on the Vita as well. Uh, quite quite a very high percentage, but I'm guessing it's because it's quite a niche game. Uh, I think I own this one. I know I definitely have five. Um, I think I've got uh, Dancing All Night. Uh, I've, I've got no rhythm. Like, literally, like, two left feet, two left thumbs. Like, when I'm trying to do the, the triggers and shit, it just doesn't go the way I want it to go. Although, you know... Shameless, uh, big myself up. I did Platinum Final Fantasy uh, Final Barline Theatrium the other day. I'm proper proud of that one. Pixel Gear, next. Not a clue. 15%, so nice on the percentage. Uh, Poi, I'm guessing that is pronounced. 35.04% uh, on that, so quite a high percentage three years five months i'm going to take a guess that you played it and then went back to it uh prince of persia the lost crown very nice now this is mad because 43.1 percent and this is the first time i believe i've seen it on anybody's list hmm strange coffin fit aside we'll carry on and i don't know why but the uh, my add-on has stopped. It no longer has uh, the difficulties and the hours, so must have reached its limit or something. But shout out to Punchline. When I was uh, when I got to 68 platinums, this was the one that I was going to have as my 69th, just to kind of you know have a take the piss a little bit. Uh, I still haven't played it. I've owned it digitally. And now physically for at least a year. And I just never got around to playing them. 
uh, one of my one of my best friends has got the platinum for this and he says it's a simple one um, and guessing but looking at the 51.52% uh, of a cheat percentage of platinum achieved I would suggest that that is the case then we got Puss in Boots I'm going to try and get back on track stop losing focus uh, that one was from PS3 nice Quake fantastic game surprised that it's so low I'm, I'm I want to I want to mentally remember that one because I loved Quake back in the day seeing it so low as well want to check it out uh, race the sun not a clue Rango I believe that's the game from the film the uh, the lizard or gecko uh, but fair play Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, absolutely phenomenal game. I'd recommend it to absolutely anybody. Uh, Resogun, oh mate, it was like the first game that I think I got on uh, PS Plus, and I I haven't got the platinum myself, but I thought the game was fantastic. Uh, All be pretty simple, you know, nothing extravagant, but fantastic game. Returnal, another fantastic game. RNG trophies are the only thing that are stopping me from going back and getting this. And the fact that the last time I installed it again, I had not got a clue what I was doing with the controls and I died on like the first enemy that came out. So I was just like, oh, yep. Yeah. But nice on that one, 12.9%. You've done the DLCs as well, fair play. Uh, Revenge of the Bird King, not a clue. Riviere, not a clue. Res Infinite, two point nine eight percent. Holy shit, dude! Um, I'm going to take a guess. Is that like a sequel or anything to do with? No, it's not even the same spelling. Resogun, Res. Like, I know that sounded the same, but obviously R E S R E Z. Uh, I, I don't know what it is, but I always thought it was a similar game to Resogun. Uh, obviously wrong. Uh, Rick and Morty Virtual Rickality. Nice. 3.83% on that one. So beautiful. Uh, Rhyme. Christ. That's a game that I've seen hundreds of times, but I don't know what it is. Sackboy A Big Adventure. Very nice. I know that one of the later trophies in, in that is for the uh, time trial. And I know that's uh, pretty difficult. Saw, a game that I've been looking for recently for my PS3. I'm yet to find it anywhere. And I know that the prices are steadily increasing, but fair play on that one. Uh, Sayonara, Wild Hearts, not a clue, but I am starting to see this a lot more, so I am going to check it out at some point. Sea of Stars, fair play. 28th of September, was that... I'm guessing four weeks, 22 hours. I'm guessing that was when it came out on PS Plus. I, I, I downloaded it like day one. I was proper excited for it and I just I lost interest in it so quick. Um, but it was a, an amazing game and I'm sure you would agree. Then we got Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. Another amazing game. I've not played it myself, but I've seen a lot of gameplay for it. 28.13% on that one though. That that kind of saddens me it really does severed not a clue shadow of the colossus again another game that i've never played but i've heard that it's an absolute classic 7.33 percent on that one fair play that is that's a banger from what i've seen shady part of me i actually looked at this a couple of days ago um and i believe if it's the one I believe it is, it's similar to like Little Nightmares, um, but nice high percentage on it, but fair play. Uh, Shanty, Half Genie Hero. I've played it, I've not got the platinum on it, um, but it looks like you came back to it to get the platinum at a later date. That one was on Vita as well. Uh, Sly Cooper and Thievenus, Thievius Raccoonus, uh, PS3, so I'm guessing that was the OG. Uh, edition 
because this has obviously just been released on PS4, uh, PS4 and PS5, I believe, on P uh, PlayStation Plus. Sonic Superstars, nice, 9.66%. No wonder I uh, kind of gave up on it. Um, clearly, skill gap, but fair play on that one. Sounds and Shapes, uh, I'm going to say I don't know what it is, but I kind of do. I've from what I've heard about it, it's basically a simple platinum. But nice. It's a lot of trophies for it though. 89 trophies, 87 of them being silver as well. Nice. Uh, SpongeBob. Everyone knows what that is. Battle, battle for Bikini Bottom. All three Spyros. Very nice. Uh, another one that I've not seen anyone else have. Uh, Stein's Gate. So very nice. That was on the Vita. Stray, everybody's favourite cat game. I, I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I'm not surprised that that is going up and up and up. Uh, Siphon Filter, I did not realise that this was, if there was a, a version of Siphon Filter on the PS5. So I'm another one I'm going to look back in, I'm going to look into. Uh, Tachyon Project, not a clue, which I apologise for. Same with Chia. Team Sonic Racing. Fair play on this one. Fair effing play. 2.45%. It's a platinum that I probably would attempt myself if I still had my uh, save data from my old PS4. <clears throat> I got really far into the platinum trophy for this. And this was back before I was a Platinum Trophy Hunter. I just really enjoyed the game. I was really good at the game. Um, was a bit annoying when you were doing like the team races. And you know the AI would... like Even if you finished first. like The AI would be like last and last but one. And the other team would still beat you. Um, but. like Fantastic. Fair play. Such a low percentage on that. Uh, then we got Tearaway. I've got this on PS4. I didn't realise it was such an old game. And you can get it on Vita. Or, or rather it started on Vita. But fair play on that one. Uh, Tesla Grad. I've, I've heard of it. I've never played it. So pass. Uh, Artful Escape. Obviously a beautiful game. Uh, quite a short one as well. The Forgotten City. Nice. I believe that's an... I was about to say I believe that one's another short one. But it took you seven months and two weeks. Maybe just came back to do the platinum. Um, then we got Infectious Madness of Dr. Decker. Not a clue. The Mark of Mark of Cree. Again, not a clue. Um, the Messenger. I've heard of The Messenger. I've heard it's a fantastic game. But I don't know what the gameplay is like. I've not looked into it. Same with The Pathless. Uh, then we got... I mean... I'm sorry for like just running through some of these because I'm sure some of these are really good games and potentially difficult platinums, uh, but I just don't don't know what they they are. Uh, the Talos Principle, nice. No, I know I know what that is. I believe believe I've got it digitally. I might have it physically. I'm not sure. Might be. Is there a Talos Two? I think there's Talos Two. Uh, the Witness, nice, 10.05% on that one, so not too common. Uh, the game that I was on about earlier, Fiatrium Final Bar Line, sickens me that 31.88% have got that Platinum Trophy, considering how much work I put into it, because getting getting those last few trophies, like all of, what is it, the 1,000 collector cards, just felt like it took forever to get there. Um, and to be honest, I purposely played it and played it and played it. Maybe maybe I added extra hours to my own game time, but I left the Endless Worlds until the last thing. And I think I got up to like World 28 before I lost my last life. Obviously, you only have to do 20 for the, the hard, uh, one of the hardest trophies. But uh, Phymesia, got to give you props on it because I've hate that game 
it's the first Souls-like game that I attempted to Platinum, and I'm one trophy off it, and I just cannot, cannot beat that boss during the tutorial, and running from the starting area back to the tutorial, like through the tutorial, to fight him again. I just can't do it. Obviously, in, in the sense of the game, you are meant to lose that fight, but you have to take like one health bar off him, and I just can't. I, like I, I, the more I think about it, the more I realise that the parry windows uh, and blocking windows that you could like upgrade as you went through the story helped me massively. Otherwise, I'd have never have done it. I'd never have got to the end of the game. But almost one in four. Clearly, I'm uh, I'm in the bottom twenty five percent. At yeah. I don't know. I'm chatting shit again. Uh, Tinykin, 43.22%. Nice. Titan Souls, 2.02%. Uh, Titanfall 2, 8.08% 8 .8, 8 on that one. I mean, everyone knows what Titanfall is. One of the greatest games ever. Titanfall 2. Titanfall 1, obviously, I've, I can't remember if it was online only. But I remember getting it um, when it first came out, and I thought it was brilliant. Uh, but back then, I was all about multiplayer games. Then we got Toem, nice. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. Second list in a row now that's, that's had this, 2.73%. Beautiful stuff. Toy Story 3, 8.66%. I'm surprised that that's so low. Um... Trover saves the universe. I almost said Trevor, but no, it's Trover. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I believe that's the one from Rick and Morty. Uh, Tunic, nice. Turnip Boy commits tax evasion. I've been recommended this one. And I don't know what it is. I've seen a little bit of gameplay. Uh, and I, I mean, 80.53% kind of puts me off going for the Platinum. Uh, but... I mean, maybe I should. Fair play on that one. Ultros, not a clue. Uh, Uncharted, Uncharted, Uncharted. Fair play, fair play, fair play. Uh, Undertale, nice. You know, short, sweet. I just need the dog trophies and I can't be bothered to go back into the game and do it. Uh, Viewfinder, beautiful game. Absolutely beautiful game. Such a unique uh, idea. Uh, surprised it's so high though. What remains of Edith Finch? Obviously, the walking simulator. Uh, uh, nah. Uh, look, as I've said with previous games, uh, other games rather, I would get so bored trying to play that. Uh, so, sorry. Uh, where the bees make honey? Not a clue. Sounds absolutely riveting. Um, day one purchase for me. I'm going to run out and get that, I think. Sorry. A bit of... Bit of uh, unnecessary sarcasm there, but I don't mean it. Uh, Xenon Valkyrie Plus. Art style looks fantastic. 10.59%. I will be checking that one out. Uh, first person that I've seen with any of these. Absolutely fantastic games. Yamo Put my teeth back in. Yamawari uh, Night Alone. You did it on the Vita. I think... I can't remember if it's this one or the other Yamarari game, but I've got it on my PS4 digitally. Um, and it almost was the one of the games that I was going to do for Halloween. Almost. 1906% uh, on that one. Surprised it's so high. But again, niche game, so they usually do. And then we end the list with Ukulele and Ukulele and the Impossible Lair. So, all in all, fantastic list. I'm going to quickly go up to the milestones because I know that this list has taken a lot longer than other lists have done. Um, but fair play. First platinum was Blaz Blue Calamity Trigger. Uh, then 10th platinum was that Derecine. 20th platinum was Astro's Playroom. Nice. 30th platinum was Ukulele in the Impossible Lair. 
Uh, 40th was God of War, 50th was Outer Wilds, 75th was Megamind Ultimate Showdown, uh, 100th was Tunic, nice, 125th was Sea of Stars, fair play, uh, 150th was The Messenger, and your latest platinum was Another Crab's Treasure. All in all, an absolutely fantastic trophy list, and oh my god, you are trying to add more to it. Like, Lumo being 0.86% is just phenomenal. Like, I'm 100% I'm going to check this out in a bit because I want to know exactly what you've done to get this. Because if it's that low, then it's got to be fucking tough. Either that or it's just like thousands of hours of grinding the same thing and people just can't be bothered. Uh, but I can see that you've been trying or at least attempted Super Meat Boy. Um let me know about the super meat boy are, are you still going for it or have you given up but yeah um that's the list 51 minutes currently on this uh video uh give or take the cut for the massive coffin fit i had but blinkoom absolutely fantastic list some absolutely amazing platinums in there a lot of stuff that i had to kind of just skip over because i've never heard of them but I am going to be going back through and checking every one of those games out because I am intrigued, to say the least. Everyone else that's watched, uh, leave your thoughts down below if you want your list to be reviewed in the future. Also, leave your name down below. Just be mindful that the list has got pretty big at this point. Uh, and also, don't forget, check out Blinkoom. Who, uh, he's got a YouTube channel and he streams on Twitch uh, on occasions. Very chilled dude. His chat is awesome. Get involved, speak, chat, uh, enjoy. Thanks for watching and peace out.